hardest thing about losing my brother is the knowledge that his daughter grows up without a dad. Thomas Allen Schlappmann went for a drive on his motorcycle five days before Thanksgiving in 2012 and never came back. He was killed after a drunk driver crossed the yellow line. The last person that saw my brother alive was that driver and he doesn't even remember it. I think drinking and driving is something that people, you know, they don't take quite as seriously as they should. Stephen Schlappmann's wife, Kimberly, of country music group Little Big Town, hopes their story encourages others to make smart decisions over Super Bowl weekend. Today, they joined TDOT, the Governor's Highway Safety Office, and law enforcement in a press conference to encourage sober rides home. You'd better have a plan on how you're gonna get home safely. Because if you don't, the Franklin Police Department has one for you. This weekend, a sobriety checkpoint will be set up in Franklin in honor of Thomas Allen Schlappmann. Last year, over the Super Bowl weekend, there were 76 alcohol-related crashes in Tennessee. One person died. I think that some people might consider that a moderate success for a long weekend, but those of us in the law enforcement community certainly do not. For the Schlappmann family, those statistics now unfortunately hit too close to home. Thanksgiving is a much more somber holiday. We're thankful, but yet it, it's we're always remembering that 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 one place at the table that's not there anymore.